Hi, I'm Marty Nilko. Some of the funniest jokes are sugar-coated, often exaggerated truths about humankind. Do any of these ring a bell? First, we'll start with politics. Washington is a city of Southern efficiency and Northern charm. That was said by John F. Kennedy. This was said by George Bernard Shaw. A government that robs Peter to pay Paul can always depend on the support of Paul. This one from Anthony Burgess, every dogma has its day. This from W.H. Auden, we are all here on earth to help others. What on earth the others are here for? I don't know. This from Mark Twain, get your facts first, then you can distort them as you please. This from Lee Grant, I've been married to one Marxist and one fascist and neither one would take the garbage out. Now let's turn to human failings. Perhaps it's not surprising, by the way, that this category has the most entries. Charles Schultz, the sweet guy who wrote the Peanuts comics, said, I love mankind, it's people I can't stand. This one's anonymous. An optimist is someone who falls off the Empire State Building and after 50 floors says, so far so good. This from somebody named Billy Colony, who, Connolly, who I have no idea who it is. My definition of an intellectual is someone who can listen to the William Tell Overture without thinking of the Lone Ranger. This from Zach Galifianakis. Sorry, I butchered that, but I Galifianakis. And that, the name alone is funny. I have a lot of growing up to do. I realized that the other day. I realized that the other day inside my fort. I'll read that again because I butchered that. I have a lot of growing up to do. I realized that the other day, inside my fort. This from Oscar Wilde. I can resist everything except temptation. This from Theodore Roosevelt. If you could kick the person in the pants who is responsible for most of your trouble, you wouldn't sit for a month. This from Isaac Asimov. People who think they know everything are a great annoyance to those of us who do. This from Douglas Adams, the guy who wrote uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the uh, Galaxy. I love deadlines. I like the whooshing sound they make as they fly by. This is from Mark Twain. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do the day after tomorrow. This from Homer Simpson. Trying is the first step toward failure. This from a fictional character in Downton Abbey, Maggie Smith, playing the Dowager Countess Violet Crawley. There is nothing simpler than avoiding people you don't like. Avoiding one's friends, that's the real test. This one from Robin Williams. If women ran the world, we wouldn't have wars, just intense negotiations every 28 days. This from Groucho Marx. I refuse to join any club that would have me as a member. This from David Letterman. Halloween is the beginning of the holiday shopping season. That's for women. The beginning of the holiday shopping season for men is Christmas Eve. This is another fictional one from... Uh, Lillian, the character played by Maya Rudolph in Bridesmaids. Why can't you be just happy for me and then go home and talk behind my back later like a normal person? This from Jean Webster. She never lets ideas interrupt the easy flow of her conversation. This one's anonymous. There is one word that describes people that don't like me. Irrelevant. This from Ellen DeGeneres. Accept who you are, unless you're a serial killer. This from the fictional character Clarie Belcher, Olivia Dukakis, in the movie Steel Magnolias. The only thing that separates us from the animals is our ability to accessorize. This from Dave Barry. My therapist told me the way to achieve true inner peace is to finish what I start. So far, I've finished two bags of M&Ms and a chocolate cake. I feel better already. Dave Barry is great. This is an anonymous quote. Common sense is like deodorant. The people who need it most never use it. This from satirist and very prolific writer H.L. Mencken. Nobody ever went broke underestimating the taste of the American public. Here's another anonymous quote. I prefer not to think before speaking. I like being as surprised as everyone else by what comes out of my mouth. This from um, Bill Watterson. I think he did the Calvin and Hobbes cartoon. Reality continues to ruin my life. This from Thomas Sowell. It takes considerable knowledge just to realize the extent of your own ignorance. 
This from comedian Mort Saul. My life needs editing. This from Jean de la Buere. The first day one is a guest, the second a burden, and the third a pest. This from Bill Vaughn. Money won't buy happiness, but it will pay the salaries of a large research staff to study the problem. This from the character Mortimer Brewster, played by Cary Grant in Arsenic and Old Lace. Insanity runs in my family. It practically gallops. This from Maria Banford. My therapist says I'm afraid of success. I guess I could understand that, because after all, fulfilling my potential would really cut into my sitting around time. And this from Jules Renard. Laziness is nothing more than the habit of resting before you get tired. Here are a few quotes on aging. You know you've reached middle age when you've cautioned to slow down by your doctor instead of by the police. Joan Rivers said that. This from Sir Norman Wisdom. As you get older, three things happen. The first is your memory goes, and I can't remember the other two. Another anonymous quote. I'm in a place in my life where errands are starting to count as going out. And this from Betty White from sisters. People say, but Betty, Facebook's a great way to connect with old friends. Well, at my age, if I want to connect with old friends, I need a Ouija board. Next, here are three quotes about work. A committee is a group that keeps minutes and loses hours. That was said by Milton Berle. This one said by Saul Bellow. When we ask for advice, we're usually looking for an accomplice. Here's another one from Dave Barry. User. That's the word that computer professionals use when they really mean idiot. Here are some quotes about marriage. They say marriages are made in heaven, but so is thunder and lightning. Clint Eastwood. This from uh, the character Halle Reed, played by Mia Farrow in the movie Crimes and Misdemeanors. My husband and I fell in love at first sight. Maybe I should have taken a second look. This from the character Pete, Paul Rudd, in the movie Knocked Up. Marriage is like an unfunny, tense version of Everybody Loves Raymond, but it doesn't last 22 minutes. It lasts forever. This uh, is from Rodney Dangerfield. I haven't spoken to my wife in years. I didn't want to interrupt her. This from Hesiod, who I'm assuming is an ancient Greek intellectual of some sort. Do not let a flattering woman or man coax and wheedle you and deceive you. He or she is after your barn. This from Will Farrell in The Takeaway. Before you marry a person, you should first make them use a computer with slow internet to see who they really are. This from Rita Rudner. I love being married. It's so great to find the one special person you want to annoy for the rest of your life. This from Jerry, and this is the character Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld. Breaking up is like knocking over a Coke machine. You can't do it in one push. You've got to rock it back and forth a few times, and then it goes over. And finally, this from Zsa, Zsa Gabor. I'm a marvelous housekeeper. Every time I leave a man, I keep his house. Here are some quotes about children. Another one from Jerry Seinfeld. A two-year-old is kind of like having a blender, but you don't have a top for it. This one from Shonda Rhimes. You want to torture someone? Hand them an adorable baby they love who doesn't sleep. This from Reese Witherspoon. If you're not yelling at your kids, you're not spending enough time with them. This from the show Lessons from a Minivan. Being a mom means never buying in the right amount of produce. Either everyone suddenly loves grapes and a week's worth are eaten in one afternoon, or fruit flies are congregating around my rotten bananas. This is from Nora Ephron. When your children are teenagers, it's important to have a dog so that someone in the house is happy to see you. This is from Marceline Cox. If at first you don't succeed, blame your parents. And finally, in the, uh, in the section here on, on children, this from Irma Bombeck. When your mother asks, do you want a piece of advice? It's a mere formality. It doesn't matter if you answer yes or no. You're going to get the advice anyway. And now finally, a category of miscellany, things that didn't fit in any of the previous categories. This from no less than Stephen Hawking, the physicist. Even people who claim everything is predetermined look before they cross the road. This from Jane Wagner. When we talk to God, we're praying. When God talks to us, we're schizophrenic. This from Jack Handy. Before you criticize someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you criticize them, you're a mile away from them and you have their shoes. This from Kathy Geiswhite, who I think created the cartoon Kathy. Food, love, career, and mothers, the four major guilt groups. This from Bill Maher. Men are only as loyal as their options. This from Don Rickles. Who picks your clothes? Stevie Wonder? 
This is from George Byrne. Happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. This is from Richard Dawkins. By all means, let's be open-minded, but not so open-minded that our brains drop out. This is from Fran Leibowitz. You're only as good as your last haircut. Here's an anonymous quote. The worst part of online shopping is having to get up and get your credit card from your purse. This is from the character Carrie, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City. I like my money where I can see it, hanging in my closet. This is from Irma Bombeck. Thanksgiving dinners take 18 hours to prepare. They're consumed in 12 minutes. Half times take 12 minutes. That's not a coincidence. This from the character Claire Foster, who's Tina Fey in the movie Date Night. If we're going to pay this much for crab, it better sing and dance and introduce us to the Little Mermaid. And finally, this from Jay Leno. Here's something to think about. How come you never see a headline like, Psychic Wins Lottery? In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco.